Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to Patriot Pets. My name is Lake Green, and today we are going to be visiting a very small and definitely forgotten cemetery here in Monmouth County, New Jersey, uh, the uh, township of Upper Freehold, uh, very close to Freehold Borough, um, and it is called the Wyckoff Cemetery, established in 1702. And the reason I'm sitting in my car right now is because before I walk over to find the cemetery, as it is very small, I wanted to show you guys this location, although very cool and historical for the town of Freehold, is in the middle of a neighborhood. A neighborhood was developed around the historical cemetery. So I'm going to have to cut through a guy's yard to get there, but let's go do it. So here's uh, something really cool. Uh, I am now on the corner of Highway 79. Uh, and up, up the road a ways here is the intersection of East Freehold Road uh, and Dutch Lane. Um, and this is a well that I did. I, I'm cutting way back through the woods to try to bypass people's yards. I don't want to be annoying. But this is a well that has not been closed off as I can hear my voice literally echoing through the bottom. And that runs deep. Hello? That is, this is a well. That was literally a well at one point where people got water. And that's Highway 79. So, who knows what type of house was here, but it's a well. Very cool. And I'm walking around the lands near the cemetery, and look at this. Bones of a dead buck deer. Huh. If that is not fitting to this eerie and dilapidated area. All right. So this is it. The Wyckoff Cemetery of Freehold Township. As dilapidated and forgotten of a place as any we have ever been to. Wedged behind in a small space of land behind a housing development. So this cemetery was founded in 1702. After a man named John Wyckoff purchased the land from the township. Uh, probably to use his as his uh, family burial ground. I'm not sure if he farmed the area, but that is all that was written uh, in the history of the cemetery. Um, and the graves here of, are of all, prom of all prominent uh, local families, early settlers of Freehold and Upper Freehold, which was then, it wasn't known as Upper Freehold, it was known as simply Freehold, and uh, local farm families. So families who farmed the surrounding lands and uh, organized to bury their dead. And almost all these graves are dilapidated beyond reading. And there's only a, there's a handful. There must be a dozen, maybe two, two dozen graves here. Very hot day today. 90 f degrees. At the John Wyckoff Cemetery of Freehold. All right, so the first two graves we'll uh, look at. Barcalos, Daniel and Derek Barcalo, who died in the years 1795 and 1801. So let's check out this grave. In memory of Derek Barcalo, son of Daniel Barcalo, who died July the 28th, 1801, aged 25 years, 10 months, and 17 days. So he was born in 1776. The year the United States was founded. Derek Barcalo, the son of Daniel. Ah, so this is a father and son. Barcalo's an early family name. And look, C instead of K. Today, there are Barcalo's still in freehold um, with the family name K. 
and the middle school uh, middle school in West Freehold, Barclow Middle School, is named after the family with a K. And there's the father. In memory of Daniel Barclow, who died June 28, 1795, aged 74 years, 6 months, and 2 days. So a father and son laid a rest here. Two members, two very early members of the Barclow family of Freehold. May you rest in peace, gentlemen. So this next line of grames is literally overgrown in the middle of an overgrown patch of weeds and growth. And these are the of Wyckoffs, more early Wyckoffs and Foremans. Uh, Anna Wyckoff, Agnes, William, Catherine Foreman, Ezekiel Foreman, and Captain Jacob Foreman. The grave spaced out between 1777, the earliest, and 1841, the latest. So we'll start down here. This is Anna Wyckoff. Can't even read that. In memory of Anna Wyckoff, who departed this. Uh, the daughter of Agnes Wyckoff, who departed this life. March 8th, 1803, in the 68th year of her age. And that's their daughter. And this is her mother. Another Wyckoff. In memory of Agnes Wyckoff, wife of William Wyckoff, who departed this life July 16th, 1777, aged 73 years. And here is... William Wyckoff, memory of William Wyckoff, who departed this life September 8th, 1782, aged 75 years. So 1782, his wife died five years earlier in 77, and his daughter in 1803, some years later. And as I mentioned earlier, the Wyckoffs uh, were early settlers of Freehold. Probably related to the original owner of the land, John Wyckoff. Could be a, a, a father or a grandfather. Probably a father. Um, and, or a relative, who knows. Uh, and the Wyckoff name is still remembered in Freehold Township. Uh, the Bethesda Cemetery is located on Wyckoff Road. A street bears the family name. But has been anglicized to appear W-Y-C-O-F-F. Instead of W-I-K, which is definitely Germanic in origin. So, very cool. So here is an awesome grave. Very interesting. In memory of Captain Jacob Foreman, who entered the merchant service at the Port of New York at the age of 14. And he progressed by regular grades to the captain of the ship and remained in the service near close to his death uh, in 1841 in his 58th year of life. So this man was a merchant, entered the service at 14 years old, and rose through the ranks to become a captain of his own ship. And that is the beauty of the United States, people. You can do anything you set your mind to. You just got to work for it. This man, Mr. Foreman, is the proof of it. 14-year-old boy started working on a ship and uh, became a captain. So definitely an, a very interesting and cool grave. We remember his uh, very cool life. Here at the Wyckoff Cemetery in Upper Freehold. And this is just a crime. But I gotta get at this. We're not gonna be able to get close to the graves. But this is the Williamson family. Anna Williamson, Sarah Williamson, and Hendrick Williamson. And Hendrick Williamson was a veteran of the Revolutionary War. I take his wife was Anna. His daughter might have been Sarah. And himself was Hendrickson. His name was Hendrickson. And there's the graves. I see his daughter's grave is the newer one, 1849. The middle. His wife is Anna there. So that must mean Revolutionary War Patriot Hendrick Williamson is buried right there. So thank you, American Patriot, for your service. You have not forgotten. And here are some more graves, the Antonides, John, Mary, Peter, and EA. That is EA. Another stone there through the overgrowth. And uh, Mary, Peter, and John there, the Antonides family. 
and there is plenty more unmarked graves here made of stone and native field stone. And the last grave is the oldest. Gierch, G-E-A-R-C-H-E, Gierch, Gierch, Sutfin, who died on March 24th, 1748. Yurch Sutfin. And if you remember, when we did our Mammoth Battlefield tour, the Sutfin farmhouse was there. So there is a high likelihood uh, that this Sutfin was related to the original Sutfin family. Could have been related to Derek Sutfin and his sons who lived and farmed on that land. Who knows? And so that is it. We checked out today the very small, but very interesting and all and very forgotten John Wyckoff Cemetery of Upper Freehold, technically officially known as the Wyckoff Cemetery. Uh, the land purchased in 1702 by John Wyckoff, originally a thousand acres, I believe. Um, and it was on a thousand acres, not even an acre of which uh, remains this cemetery full of marked and unmarked graves. So let me remove my cap and let us have a moment of silence for all of the dead, known and unknown. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. It's so important to remember your history and the sacrifice of those who came before us. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week on Patriot Pets.